Beer here back in the Fantasy Bar Tuesday is up, and we are back with six of my favorite plays for you for the big slate, including some of my favorite values, especially over on Fandle. Got quite a few bats under 3,000 for you there. We're going to give you some spots outside of Wrigley Field where a lot of people are going to be focusing their attention here. So got some cheap hitters. I like a starting pitcher in a great matchup and a beast in the night. I think goes absolutely ham tonight. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the fantasy bar. Welcome in guys. Tuesday edition beers daily fantasy six pack. It's been a week since our last video. Glad to be back here once again. Six of my favorite plays ready for you for the Tuesday night slate. Thank you as always. For stopping by the Fantasy Bar and checking out today's video. Before we get into the plays, take a second, click that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel. Pints and Picks back again tonight with two of my favorite MLB prop bets. Quick one-minute video there, so make sure you check that out when you are done here. All right, let's talk to Slate. Wrigley Field obviously going to be a spot a lot of people focus on here tonight. I'm not saying don't use Wrigley Field tonight. We know those hitting conditions can be elite with those winds blowing out. But I want to give you some spots outside of Wrigley Field. Maybe save on some ownership, get you a different build from what a lot of people are going to be doing on tonight's slate. So let's dive in. First hitter, we are rolling with Colton Kowser of Baltimore. Now I really like the spot for Baltimore, especially the lefties against Lance Lynn. But let's start with Kowser here. And let's look at the weather here. I know Wrigley going to garner a lot of attention, but we have some elite hitting conditions here as well with some winds blowing out here and temperatures near 90 degrees and Kowser has been great against righties so far this season 256 iso and leading this loaded baltimore team with a 405 well but now lance lynn a guy we know has struggled with lefties over the course of his career a little bit better this season but still some concerning numbers that woba sitting at 359 He's pitching a little bit over his head against lefties, and this is not a good matchup for him with a lot of great lefties in this lineup. Not going to give you multiple options here for Baltimore, but certainly a team that you can stack up tonight. And Cows are great value, especially over on FanDuel at just 2,800. All right, next hitter, we are rolling with Kerry Carpenter of Detroit. So Carpenter swinging a good bat right now. A couple multi-hit games and seven RBI over just the last four games. Have some big wins blowing out here as well to right field in Kansas City. And this is the power bat in this Detroit lineup. 395 Woba and a 281 ISO. Both of those numbers lead this Detroit Tigers team. Now Marsh, like we talked about with Lance Lynn, been better against lefties this season. But you look at the Babip sitting at just 213. So it tells me he's been lucky. Last season, numbers were eye-popping. 414 Woba, 280 ISO. Two left-handed hitters. So has he figured them out completely? I doubt that. I think we see some regression here. Get Kerry Carpenter in those lineups, especially with those winds blowing out to right field. All right, starting pitcher here. One guy pops the list for me, and that's Clark Schmidt of the Yankees. Now, Schmidt really been pitching well here of late. Six or more strikeouts now in six of his last seven starts, and you don't get a better matchup in the strikeout department than the Seattle Mariners leading all of baseball at almost 29% strikeout rate against righties. Schmidt has been great against left-handed hitters with a strikeout rate over 33%. And Seattle projected to roll out five left-handed bats, three of those guys with strikeout rates north of 29%. So plenty of strikeout upside. He showed the upside in his last start, going eight innings, eight strikeouts, over 35 DraftKings points here. Gets an even better matchup here, in my opinion, to rack up another big number here. Clark Schmidt, my favorite pitcher. Or Tuesday night. All right, back to the bats and maybe a lone ugly spot here. We're talking Ryan McMahon of Colorado. Anytime you get to Colorado and Oakland together, it's just two bad teams, low total in this game. So this should be a spot you can pluck a few players. And McMahon, certainly one that I'm looking at here tonight, hits in eight straight games, 13 total hits over that span, and a couple home runs over his last five games. Now, Brooks on the other side just doesn't strike a lot of guys out. Strikeout rate sitting just below 17% against lefties. Gives up a ton of hard contact at over 44%. I don't know about a stack here tonight, but Ryan McMahon, a solid one-off to fill those lineups. All right, let's continue with the hitters here. Next up, Willie Calhoun of the Angels. So Calhoun, another guy swinging a good stick right now. Nine hits for him over the last five games. Leads this team in both Woba and Iso. That Woba north of 400. Iso above 220 against righties. Christian Javier really dealing with some big issues against left-handed hitters. Pretty much every number you look at is in the red in our plate IQ tool. But we'll highlight the Woba at 359, ISO at 231, and the strikeout rate way down at 15.5%. Willie Calhoun, great spot and great prices on both sites, especially that $3,300 number 
over on DraftKings. All right, it's time. Take a look at my favorite play for Tuesday night. Before we do that, let's continue our Beast of the Night contest. Easy to play. Click that thumbs up button and head to the comment section and guess fantasy points on DraftKings for my highest scoring hitter. Gonna give you five bats in the video. Don't even have to guess who it is. Doesn't have to be the Beast of the Night. Just a number. If your guess is the closest, we're gonna give you a free week of Roto Grinders Premium just for hanging out in the fantasy bar. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play for Tuesday night. No matter the Beast of the Night. All right, this time we saved you a lot of money in some spots so we could spend up here on Kyle Tucker of the Astros, tonight's beast of the night. Now we mentioned a lot of attention and rightful attention on Wrigley Field tonight. Again, I want to stress, I'm not telling you not to play Wrigley Field, but if you want to look at some alternate ideas and routes, I think Kyle Tucker, the way to go in an absolutely elite spot here against Griffin Canning. Now Tucker, been top six in all of baseball against right-handed pitching in all of these categories. Wobble way up at near 450. ISO above 330. Also has 10 home runs this season against righty. So they're one of the best hitters in baseball against left-handed pitching. Canning been one of the worst against left-handed hitters. So simple math here. 364 Wobble allowed 211 ISO. And that power mix we're always looking for. Fly ball rate, hard contact rate, two lefties at over 33 and 53%. Kyle Tucker in for a massive night here, making him easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it here for our Tuesday six pack. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget your guess for my highest scoring hitters fantasy output on DraftKings for your shot at some free Roto Grinders premium. And don't forget pints and picks out again today. Quick one minute video with two of my favorite MLB prop bets for Roto Grinders. Com. I am here saying salut, guys. Thank you for watching. Best of luck, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more DraftKings, FanDuel, and other DFS content. And you can check out our daily live show schedule on rotogrinders.com slash videos.